So, okay, the weather in Portland this week, it has been very nice. It feels very summery. However, if you're like me and Chef Jacob Valentine, you're probably still dreaming of some kind of beautiful vacation, maybe to someplace like Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And we can't, we don't have events to tell you about in Hawaii because we are a local station, okay? But yep. you can go to a luau out on the coast. So Jacob from Feed the Mass is here to tell us all about it. You have worn your amazing luau shirt. Yes. I now have a beautiful lay on and we're going to make one of the food items that you're serving at. This is the third luau you guys have thrown? Uh, second, second, second luau. This is our second luau. Uh, this is uh, this is actually my birthday month. So oh, one of the things birthday. that, well, thank you. And one of the things I like to do for my birthday is like big old cookout. So Just throw uh, a party that everybody gets to come exactly. to. Exactly. And all the proceeds go right back into our organization to help out free cooking classes for uh, those who need. So. Right, because you guys are the only nonprofit cooking school in Portland. So exactly. All kinds of people. Everybody can come people. take a beautiful class and they can, oh look, there's your shirt again. There oh my gosh. Go. I know. The perfect luau shirt. So what are we going to make today? Uh, so today we're going to be making poke and then we're going to turn that poke into a poke bowl because everybody loves oh. poke bowls. Oh my gosh. All right. So I'm this so is all you. So first thing we're going to do is we need, oh, oh. first the orange. Oh. So this going, is oh, sesame the orange. oil. Oh, oh no, no. Oil. Okay. Sesame oil. Put I it just want to go for the fish. I'm sorry. There okay. So sesame oil. Oh no. Sorry. That's vinegar. Rice oh, vinegar. vinegar. And then we have sesame oil, which is green. See, we all make mistakes. It's fine. Don't judge me. <laughs> Soy sauce in red, mm -hmm. and then you need all of that orange. So we just Whoa. rolled it and then just squeeze it. So what we're making is kind oh, of yeah, a ponzu. Oh yeah, you definitely rolled it. That wow. Yeah, that's a. I didn't know to do a sauce with an orange. Yeah, I mean that is that is totally Hawaiian. I mean you could also do like pineapple juice if you're into pineapples, um, or whatever citrus you have available that works too. All right, so we got our fork, mix it together. Okay. Simple. Next there you go. Round, right, right. Round. All right. So now we're gonna add in our cilantro. All of it. So, yep. So usually you put like green onion, but I know you don't like uh, onions, so we're going to do cilantro. Mix those together. Don't like onions, cilantro is so much better. Bake. There you go. And then we have our, uh, this is tuna that's chopped up and diced. You just throw it right in. That is beautiful Perfect. tuna. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Exactly. So the cool part about this is it's nice and quick, and you can let it sit for like a, up to a day, and it totally works, or you can eat it immediately. So it works. Still Either good. way. Great. All right. So now we're going to build our poke bowl. So yes. first thing we're going to talk about is our seaweed salad, because that's oh. amazing. So I'm going to grab this fork. These are just all of my favorite things. How did you know this? <laughs> I, I know people. <laughs> all right, so we have our seaweed salad. We have our tomatoes. Ooh. And all we're doing is just layer its own section. So those that are like super picky and be like, I don't want my food touching, this is for you. Is there extra stuff in the tomatoes? That uh, no, cilantro? that was just cilantro that oh, got mixed okay. in. So it's not a big deal. Then we have our kimchi because Ooh. I love kimchi. It's, wow. And you gotta keep it spicy. I don't think I've ever had kimchi in a poke bowl. What? That's okay. amazing. And then we have, of course, our cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Just make it into section. And then this one's all you. We're gonna get some of our Fish tuna time? right just in the some corner. Of it? Just some of it, not okay. a lot. Fine, I won't put all of it. There you go, perfect. Yeah, Make it look like pretty. No. Extra. There you go. And then, we, of course, we have our avocado, which Ooh. is my fancy way of making a beautiful piece of art. I know. I'm excited to see how you how you slice the avocado. Ooh, so a little nice fan and thin. action. Yep, nice and thin. Okay, while you finish doing that, we do have to tell people this is not the only thing they can eat at the luau. You guys are bringing in a, a very large animal to roast. Yes, we're going to be roasting a 80-pound uh, pig. What? Yeah, we're going to be roasting an 80 pound pig. Which um, you were actually going to drive fire. yourself in your vehicle in out my to vehicle, the coast. Out to the coast. It's going to be awesome. Plus, there's going to be mac salad, uh, huli huli chicken, uh, big old thing of rice. You just and we had you make mac salad on the show one time. That was delicious. With and your then hands. <laughs> there's a silent auction. Yeah, exactly. We got our hands dirty on the exactly. show. But this one's too beautiful to, to stick our hands in. There you go. And when actually is this happening? Uh, June 23rd uh, from 12 to 8. You can get your tickets on our website, feedthemass.org slash classes. Um, and all the proceeds go, like I said, back into uh, free education for those in need of nutrition and cooking education. And 12 and under are free. Feedthemass.com and is out in Tillamook. Thank you so much. You're I'm welcome. Gonna get right into get in there. Get in there. Mm. Mm-hmm.